What's up everyone? It's Remington. That's not my intro. Whatever. Let's continue and meet Joseph. Um I think I fixed my audio problem. I think I don't know. I like I shut up. Phone. Uh I really want to make a video, but like I can't focus on the things that I want to make videos on. I'm just being like super manic right now, but not actually manic. Don't, don't take that a weird way. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, anyways, so dream daddy. Yay. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer, the... The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have drank Diet Pepsi right before making this video. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! A handsome, clean cut man stands at my door brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Daddy. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Was that... <laughs> Was that pleasant? We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Wow! Cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies! Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda come and she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I feel that. I hear that. Sorry. I was saying I feel that as like a personal. I don't have children. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant, <laughs> don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first ma neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again? Uh, yeah. Okay. Is the missus around? Mister, actually, and er... Uh, no, not anymore. He died. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's alright. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Stop! I should have... I should have not drank Diet Pepsi and I should have silenced my phone. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically but comply. After a second I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops the thing for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. 
If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? I guess it makes it break time. Any ideas? There's only one choice. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this plate back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in the whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness! A man and I step outside. Shoot. I'm actually not sure which house this is. I'd hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. <sighs> I forgot how terrifying those, those children were. Hey guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to, uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Geez, these are definitely Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. They were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. I chuckle nervously. Well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kids buy- buys. Eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I- I- I need to rest my eyes. You've been awake for what? Three hours? And that three hours- and that's three hours too many. Hell yes. As we're walking home I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Daddy! Bro! I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Bro. Bro. Holy... Wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Ha, <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Clean up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Uh. Excuse me. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello! And hello, cute baby. Aw, oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you... babysitting? Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. A man and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashley. And, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro, right? Kegstan Craig is a father of three. Kegstan Craig? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog... yearly. On January 1st, when I promise myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. 
Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch, just like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great. Let's get that going soon. I'd better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda. He opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then drank it. Like it was the thing a normal it was the thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs! He was jogging! He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Aw, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it, it'll cost for me to give up my dreams. I'm a woman, woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Suddenly a pile of envelopes slide Suddenly a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah blah blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you, you ad, offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Amanda throws a letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. It's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just wanted to see my portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school's gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine. Really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I'm going to put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. Alright, but I'm not going to come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually just... I'm actually going to... Uh... I'm wiped. Have fun with the Emmas. We'll try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. 
And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right. Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, Pops. Um, sorry, just a second. That's, that's long enough. That's, that's long enough. Um, I'm going to call it for right now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be back soon with more Dream Daddy and more stuff in general. Uh, I'm just like video crazy because I'm just waiting for any of the jobs I applied to to get back to me. Bye!